Notice, Annie Sins is completely inspired by the channel Cinema Sins and their series Everything Wrong With. Annie Sins would have never been birthed without them. There is a recap of Gun Gale Online. 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 Firstly, as if anyone needed to be reminded about this filth. Secondly, we just watched this. It's not like it's SAO 1, which came out two years prior. Leafa decided to call it Tonky, and suddenly it transformed into an even weirder looking thing with eight wings. We hopped on its back and it took us to a passageway. Oh yes, tell me more. I insist. It's very interesting. I was planning on going back for it someday, but now... It'd be a nice break from all that floor clearing you're doing in New Einkrad. Phew, yeah. It'd be a nice break from one video game to just go play another video game. God, it's a hard knock life, isn't it? Um, how convenient that bitch is in a bath. Such subtle, not subtle fan service. Okay, I'll give this to you. The opening isn't bad. This weird alcohol drinking face cliche. And yes, one of them was in Evangelion. All right, I just, I gotta leave, okay? No, we just started, come on, man. We listen, just, listen, gotta... there's a lot to see in this life. I'm not wasting it here. I'd rather bust my sword and quit being a samurai than use magic, doll. You're not a fucking sa- I fucking, I hate, I, f I fucking hate this show. I hate you, I hate everything, I hate everyone, I hate myself. This is the old, I fucking, fuck. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's still a pain in the butt. I got your pain in the butt. <laughs> This is your developed character. Holy CG butterfly thing. My grandpa's dying words were don't ride in foreign cars or on flying Cthulhu elephants. That is actually pretty racist. It's not possible to tame monsters in this game. Not even if you're a catsy master tamer with a full power boost and special equipment. <laughs> what even the hell do you mean? You're riding a tentacle squid monster with a mini dragon on your head. What do you mean monsters cannot be tamed? Her speech pattern doesn't follow the same set response routines that a normal NPCs would. Genuinely trying to imply that NPCs actually have free thought to push this narrative that the virtual and real world aren't so different. FOUR MINUTES OF POINTLESS EXPOSITION! King Thrimmer cannot bestow that sword onto others. Most likely, he will award the victor a sword called Caliburn, whose appearance is identical to Excalibur. But that's cheating! If he's a king, doesn't he have a code of honor? The king is a fucking NPC! Why are you questioning his predetermined actions that make him ba- Are you fucking- I, I fucking- Oh my fucking god. This is turning into a bigger deal than we thought. No, it really isn't. Is this still considered a quest? Cause it's kinda turned into something way more epic than a plain old quest. No, it actually hasn't. It would log onto the net and search for various legends and folklore from around the world. Then it would take the stories it found, adapt the data, and use it to generate an infinite number of quests. That's literally not possible. It need to be done by people. What if it creates quests from folklore not safe for kids? A lot of lore wasn't child friendly. This is the stupidest system I've ever heard of. I don't buy it. I can't believe this game system would destroy its own maps on purpose. It's gotta be a mistake. Holy shit, why do you look this traumatized over a system potentially destroying a map? Which still makes no sense, by the way. I've only got about two and a half minutes before I'm out of MP. Hey, I know what MP means. They do know about video games. Hey, guys, there's one thing we haven't tried yet. So what do you say we focus our attack and wipe them out? Why wouldn't you start by attacking at once, you fucking idiots? <laughs> It's cool because it reminds me of SA01. Here's the problem, even more so from here on out in regards to the Excalibur arc. There's no stakes. No one's gonna die, even if they die, and no one's gonna be a murderer. This is just pure, unentertaining bullshit about some random filler arc to find Excalibur. The third floor is about 70% the size of the second, and the fourth floor is pretty much just the boss room. I figure the last boss fight will take us 30 minutes to finish. How the fuck? 
do you know that? You know nothing about the boss! How can you gauge that? Yeah, according to my calculations, about my Jesus goodness, yeah, when he hits exactly 1,423 HP, he's gonna start using a tall war and a war hammer. <laughs> We're using the same move from two minutes ago to actually avoid animating your show. I can't just turn my back on someone if they need help! And even if Arun gets destroyed, if I got a chance to do some good for someone, I will! Cause that's what being a samurai is all about! It's an NPC, you fucking idiot! And you're not a fucking sa- You know what? I'm not even gonna get mad. Because I no longer believe this was written seriously. I feel like this is all just a joke and I'm just getting baited. This is how bad it is that I just got baited into the worst show of all time. Reki Kawahara is laughing his ass off right now. <sighs> Cha -cha -ching. Never say anything close to that for as long as you exist in this mortal plane. Cha -cha -ching. Cha -cha -ching. Cha -cha -ching. Huh, you think a samurai gives a damn about gold? <laughs> yes, that is literally their whole thing. After I've snuffed the life from these insects, I shall shower you with extra affection. <laughs> you! Bastard! Over my dead body! I, Lord Klein, won't let you lay a finger on Lady Freya! That's it. I, I know I guessed this about 15 seconds ago, but now I genuinely believe that I am being baited to get this mad. There is no way anyone can write something this cringeworthy. There's absolutely no way, right? Right? Why have I not seen anyone else with these fucking Yui Tinkerbells? This is just the biggest advantage I've ever seen. Also sitting the fact that Yui is still here somehow! And to the people from the Alfheim video saying, Oh, Yui's AI was saved to the nerve gear. That's how she's alive. No person should be able to hack a fucking AI into a nerve gear. You can't just take an AI's coding, put it into a piece of hardware, then transfer that AI's coding from said hardware into another game where it just magically fits and works perfectly fine even though it has no designated function. It doesn't just transform into this convenient Tinkerbell that's a supposed to work. That makes legitimately zero sense from a technological standpoint. A bullshit cheating lolly AI that calls enemy attacks 10 seconds in advance, and an NPC that inflicts one third of the enemy's health. Explain to me why this is even remotely considered a difficult game. And this was considered the hardest mission in the game, by the way. Picasso, you can find it using a lightning skill. But all gold is a conductor for lightning. How the fuck would lightning help? Okay, this is gross. To make this game even easier, you get your own fucking giant on your team. <laughs> Yeah, keep pulling it, daddy! <laughs> Can't you guys just fucking fly down? You have wings! And if the sword is too heavy, just drop the sword onto a place where there's ground and then fly after it and pick it up when it lands. We made it! Thank God! We made it! Thank Jesus, couldn't we saved all those NPCs? Well, that's fucking convenient. I guess you're still too heavy for me. What do you mean? You threw it over to Sugo just fine! And even he was able to use it perfectly! You just threw it really far now too- I give up. I- I can't do this anymore. Sinon so, you know, just roped up the sword that Jesus couldn't, couldn't carry with ease, which makes no sense since our Lord and Savior's strength should be fucking infinite. I'll give it to you, but with one condition. You gotta promise me. Every time you dry, you have to think about me, okay? Oh yes, this is your developed character, people. Jesus couldn't just throw away the sword for some retarded reason just for her to rope it back up and essentially say, Here's my vagina. Would you like to insert your penis into it? Well, well. The chick magnet's got another girl. <laughs> Jesus couldn't kick Klein in the face for the truest fucking sentence that this entire bullshit show has ever produced. You got it. I'll think about you every time I try. Bitch is perfectly okay with this. And of course, our Lord and Savior is the person to get Excalibur, not some crazy grinder with 1 million hours on this game. Also, if not for Jesus Kun, game devs expected a group to complete this quest in like one hour. And if they didn't, the sunny atmosphere would be fucked because that makes sense. So what would happen if Excalibur was dropped before Milf Queen showed up to give the sword? Would the people who completed the mission just be completely screwed over their reward? Excuse me, Lady Skolt? Can I get your number? Okay, this isn't funny anymore. It's genuinely sad at this point. <laughs> I'm kidding. It was never funny. 
If it's working right, Huey should feel like she's flying around the room. <laughs> I get it. That camera and its mic are acting like Huey's eyes and ears. Gotta hand it to you, that's pretty clever. Literally, just fuck off with this absolute Huey bullshit. Don't mind me, just sending the fact that we watched three episodes of pure filler trash in a 24 episode anime. Do these guys do everything in game? Fucking kill me! I bet you've played MMORPGs for a long time, huh? True that. Making the black guy say true that as if that's still a thing people say. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Please continue using the same chanting track again. It's definitely not overused or anything. Also, this is the most boring fight we've seen all fucking series. I'm going to throw up. I brought my atmosphere along, thinking I could dive at night while everyone was asleep. But you know what? The guest house I was in didn't have Wi-Fi. Fun, right? Oh no, you poor child! You have to go a whole day without video games? Of course! More male assholes because Jesus Kud is the only male lord and savior that's right for every pussy in this universe. Are you even listening? Hello? Huh? S sorry I just remembered something lame. I wonder what that could be. Were your fucks trying to hook you up with someone? Liz is a giant cunt. Like, more so than the rest of the cast. As far as I know, this player's a total noob. Did you hear that, guys? They said the word noob! They really know video games! <laughs> None of them managed to chip off more than 30% of Zekin's HP. That's a badass. Hey, it's like she's Jesus Kun or something! Remember that, guys? Looking at the night sky in a video game instead of real life because what's the fucking difference, right? I don't believe it. Was he holding back? Of course he was holding back, bitch! You dare insinuate that Jesus could lose when he's actually trying? Which character are you gonna duel with? You still have that Sylph account, don't you? Remember what I said to use an alternate account to help the other race in Alfheim complete that quest? Yeah! End my life now, please! And wouldn't some people who want to test that just try an alternate account with a different race and help their friends on that account this way they can actually beat it? The dual wielding skill wouldn't have gone to him. It would have gone to Zekin. <sighs> and this is a super late sin on SAO1, but since you brought up the subject, how would you explain that dual wielding axe guy? You think he has a fast reaction time or something? And the point in letting your body freeze to death is... I mean, not that I'm against your death or anything, I'm just genuinely curious. The curriculum is slapdash, and the classes are a joke. Even the faculty's substandard. They're a bunch of losers with no real credentials to speak of. I love how this show is trying to paint this mom as a villain, even though this mom is actually fucking great. She has great values and wants her daughter to succeed. Yeah, she can seem a little bit bossy, but it's the mother. She has every right to be like that. Instead of seeing her daughter play for video games 16 hours on end. Hell, I'd be that grouchy if I saw my kid doing that. Yet this show is still trying to paint the narrative that, hey, this mom doesn't want you to spend your entire day playing video games and wants you to talk to your family. Don't be like her. Play more video games. They just want all the children who've spent the last two years killing each other in one convenient place. Did you forget, mother? I spent two years killing other kids too. Wow, you're so edgy, admitting to murdering other murderers in a crazy voice? What point are you trying to get across? I remember when anime were animated. I'm not strong at all. In that world, I was a warrior. But here, Lightning Flash Asuna of the Knights of the Blood Oath is gone. You're a fucking moron both in game and the real world. You can find solace in that, bitch. Don't worry. AIs don't sleep. Fuck you. Hey, you remember? You know that one day you came to my place in Selmberg and I made you dinner? What do you mean? It was the night you guys had virtual sex. Of course you remember. <coughs> Every time we turn around, you're always pawing at each other. Are we still on that stupid harem fuckery where Jesus Kun's bitches can't stand him around his Xbox wife? Also, why does Milk Tits care? Is the incest thing still going on? I have a feeling I know why you lost now. Stare. This is genuinely the cringiest thing I've seen this entire series. Learn how to translate jokes to English better. Seriously. Her willpower grew, so now she's stronger or something. Cliche. Is this the 11 hit combo? Her original sword skill. If I'm going to lose, it might as well be to something as awesome as that. Why is everyone praising this 11 hit combo? We've seen our Lord and Savior do combos three times that long. Anyway, my name's Nori. Glad to meet ya. Introducing characters that we'll never give a shit about. But a 
boss raid usually takes at least 49 players. So no matter how skilled you are with just seven players, that's kind of... Well, to be perfectly honest, it's unrealistic. But you're the protagonist, so it doesn't matter. What you do in some stupid virtual game does not take priority over your commitments in the real world. How can anyone be on Asuna's side after hearing this? This mother is on fucking point! There is no emoji next to Jesus Kun's contact. That's how you know this relationship is fucking fake. Apparently there's a stupid fucking snowflake representing tears or some bullshit like that. Yeah, all of the symbolism. Yuki, Jun, and Techi are up front. Then Tolkien and Nori are mid-range. And Siyune are the backup? Just hang here, you know, till our buddies show up. Oh, and uh, watch your backs in there. Do they have to make the bad guys this obvious? We'd like to try the boss before you do. Could you guys let us by? Sorry, Dollface. The boss room's off limits for now. Why the fuck are you asking? This is not how video games work. It's not Chipotle with 30 minute lines when you have five minutes to get to your doctor's appointment. You don't ask if you can cut someone. You just fucking walk in. What kind of video game is this? This guy's a furry. Stand down. You're not getting past me. <laughs> I'm throwing up in my heart. Cutting to the opening after being attacked as if anyone with brain cells even believes that he was remotely injured from that. Yeah team, let's add some slow motion effects to make this shit even more unreal. No one recognizes the Golden Sword Excalibur for some fucking reason. This super useful move has only been used about one or two times in the past because, uh, I don't know, why would anyone want super mega ultrasonic speed? I don't know, it's just, I, I prefer walking at three miles per hour. Even though I know this isn't true, I truly wish he was burning to death. But it's not, so I'm sinning the tease. Those guys, those friends of yours, aren't they here just to help us? They helped hold back a few people. They didn't donate a million fucking dollars. I know it's hard to believe, but kindness is not exclusive to our lord and savior. That boss sure knows how to defend itself. You think that's a random move? Using his arms to block? 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 You see that jewel on its chest? That's where we need to focus our attack. So we just shatter that jewel and we can defeat it? You're telling me these pro gamers that have played for so fucking long never suspected the big ass jewel in his chest to be a weak spot? There is only pain in my soul. So if it takes supposedly a 49 person team to kill one boss, these strong ass players that are almost at our lord and savior's level needed 7 to kill the floor 27 boss, I'm saying the fact that Jesus couldn't kill the 74th boss by himself in SAO1. That's actually just the dumbest thing ever. I didn't know that you needed this many fucking people. Fuck this show. Teasing me with girls who aren't gay but really should be gay so there's at least one thing interesting about this godforsaken show. I mean, you said the boobs. I cannot emphasize this enough that this snowman is genuinely the embodiment of me watching this show. Like, sad, confused, and having no idea what the fuck to do with himself. That's one stupid looking CG camera thing. If I had a dollar for every time somebody started spontaneously crying over video games, I'd have enough money to cure AIDS. <laughs> You'll get that joke soon enough, it's okay. Why the fuck would you try to message her when you knew that people don't receive messages when they're logged out and you saw for a fact that she had clearly logged out already? It's as pointless as me trying to find a girlfriend because I already know no one would date me. Do you know what happened to Yuki? It's been three days and she hasn't logged back in. Oh no! A person hasn't played video games for a whole three days? The horror! I could tell everyone in the group was avoiding getting too close to me. Because calling you sis, flying away with you, and having parties are all activities that are associated with trying to not get too close to somebody. I think I might have found where she's at. I'm not sure, but it's the best I got. Oh fucking course our lord and savior somehow found the address! Jesus couldn't bless! And how the fuck did he find it? I already watched the series! It's never fucking explained! May I help you? Yes. I, um... I think I'm looking for a patient. 
Uh, well, she's about 15 years old or so. I think her name might be Yuki, but I'm not sure. Because this is actually a thing in hospitals. Hi, welcome to the SAO Health Center. How can I help you? Hello, I'm actually looking for a patient. She's a female, but could also be a male since I actually met the person in a video game, so I'm not completely sure. Could be around the ages 15 to 45 and has a possibility his slash her name being Yuki. Would you be able to point me in the direction of that person's room? Of course. This is her room number. Pardon me, miss. What's your name? Uh, oh, sorry. My name is Asuna Yuki. Oh. Please, have a seat. Well, that's extremely convenient. That said, Yuki warned me someone called Asuna might try and pay her a visit at some point. She warned you? Why the fuck would Yuki warn anyone? As if there were means of anyone even finding out where she was. Of course, I was excluding Jesus-kun as a variable. I'll say she has. You are pretty much the only person she talks about. Yeah, that makes sense. She only talked about bitch, even though she knew bitch for like a day before disappearing. Also, Yuki is a dick to literally all of her other friends who she knew for so fucking long. It's like this show is trying to make us believe that Yuki never spoke about anything until Princess Bitch over here showed up. Why the fuck does this doctor sound and act so creepy? I mean, just look at that face talking about literally child experimentation. Yuki told me that if you really wanted to hear about what's going on with her, I could go ahead and tell you. Wait, what? <laughs> Bitch made it very clear that she wanted to know what was going on, since like the second Yuki logged out. And for three days, everyone kept silent, even though Bitch was borderline begging. Yet everyone logs out, leaves Bitch nothing, and we're planning to just end it there. But then she says, well, I mean, if she really wants to know, you can tell her. As if the huge desire to know wasn't there since like the first second. I want to hear it. The whole thing. And I'm not leaving here until you tell me. They can kick you out. The doctor has no obligation to tell you. But unfortunately, the blood they used was contaminated with a virus. I know I don't talk about Japanese dubs a lot in my videos, but I feel I should really say something here since it's actually a really big mistranslation. Um, I watched SAO2 subbed when it first came out two and a half years ago and read the light novel, and both of them state that Yuki actually got AIDS from watching the first season of SAO and Tokyo Ghoul back to back. Like, it's actually a true story. You can Google it. I found it on Kotaku. You mean she's in a continuous 24-hour dive? Since when? For three years now. That's a whole year longer than us. Our main bitch over here is acting like she wouldn't be in a three-year dive if she had the option to. It felt like they were a product of the full dive environment itself. Sitting this again because Jesus couldn't can understand that just by fighting someone in a video game. Because that makes perfect fucking sense. She'll be okay as long as she's here, right? Even if the room is sterile, there's no way to eliminate the virus that's inside her. What do you mean? Sending the fact that Bitch, at the age of 17 to 18, didn't understand what terminal meant when the doctor said it earlier. Come to think of it, if Aiko were here, I'd imagine she'd be a lot like you. How the fuck does the doctor know this? He knows nothing about Bitch except for the fact that she cares about Yuki and feels sad when she found out that she's going to die, which are the actions of literally anyone who remotely cares for her. Basically, he doesn't know shit, but is still making comparisons so we can still shove this stupid relationship down the viewer's throat. And even more so, how does Yuki call someone who she knows nothing about sis? The only thing we know about Yuki's sister Aiko was that she was relatively quiet and smiled when she saw Yuki happy. That's like the only information given to us. Her name's Aiko, and she was born a few minutes earlier. Yuki was the cheerful one. In fact, Aiko would just sit and watch her and smile. And I think that's far more suiting for this generic boob whose name I never learned in the first place. She's definitely a lot quieter than bitch and seems happy when everyone else is. And Yuki has known her for a lot longer, so why wouldn't Yuki call her sis? that at least make a lot more sense. Wow, you look exactly like you do in the game. Everybody fucking does. I mean, unless they have a terminal illness like AIDS or something. Was that too soon? I think that was too soon. Nah, it wasn't too soon. I don't know how you did it, but I had a feeling you'd find me in the real world. Because she married a deity. I have never been more nonchalant about literally AIDS in my entire life. It's just so shoehorned in that I can't feel anything, especially after that disgusting Excalibur arc. Now that, my friends, was AIDS. My sis used to hug me like this. You smell like her. Oh, of course! Not only does she hug Yuki in the same way as her sister, because that makes sense, but she also smells like her too in a fucking video game. You know what that means, kids? It means build your snowmen, decorate your trees, and make sure it has a Kirigaya Kazuto figure planted on top because this may as well be a fucking Christmas miracle. Wait, how the hell does she smell like her sister in a video game? 
What's the smell comprised of? Is it like some random, like, generated smell? Or is it the scent of the actual person, which would make no sense? Because you can't do that from the atmosphere. Definitely not. So th this whole smell bullshit is just completely fucking retarded. I don't know. I guess maybe go to school again? <laughs> hey, Yuki, give me those aids. I'll trade with you. We'll see how fast until you want to trade back. Maybe you can go, you know, to school. It's just in, folks. Even in a show that has literally AIDS, we still need to have a school episode. All right then, class. Please open your textbooks to page 97. We'll be reading Alori by Ryunosuke Akutagawa. Holy hell, taking off a sin for random teacher VA that pronounces Japanese names better than, like, all of the English VAs I've ever seen? Now that was fun! I know, right? Well, of course. Hell, even I'd have fun in college if I knew I was going to go for one day and then die. Let's see. Who should I marry? Oh, I know. You. Uh -uh. The only thing is, if you marry me, you'll have to be the wife. I get the feeling he's not living in the real world either. What are you talking about? There's no difference between the real and virtual world anyway, so it doesn't matter if he's in video games or not. What I really wanted was for mom to talk to us like... Well, like a mom. She was praying for me so I wouldn't feel sorry for myself. And now I finally get it. I'm the same. I haven't understood my mom either. Yeah, you two are definitely the same. Yuki's mom was a religious woman who prayed for her child's health through a dark time, and Yuki was confused about her mom because she had literally AIDS and had no idea how to cope with the disease or herself. She looked to her mom for answers, who didn't have any of them, so sought prayer instead. You, on the other hand, don't understand your mom because you play video games 17 hours a day, never see your family, and then are surprised when you get grounded. Yuki is a person going through, and I cannot emphasize this enough, literally AIDS and is about to die. And your hardest obstacle with your mom was trying to understand why she took your little incest video game away. Yeah, your situations are really similar. It's because even after I ran away from you, you tracked me down. Actually, that was our lord and savior. Look, how about you try talking to your mom like you did to me? You guys know me. I like to try to predict foreseeable conversations in regards to the, uh, the plot of the show. So let me try my hand at this one. Mom? I really want to play video games for 19 hours a day and not be bothered! No, Asuna, I won't allow that. Why won't you understand me?! Don't worry, you can do it. You're way stronger than me. Honest. Can everybody stop sucking each other's dick by saying the other is strong for playing video games? Like, this has been a thing since Alfheim and it's actually disturbing. The only person I'd remotely consider strong is Yuki, and that's because of the situation she's going through. But even then, it's not like she's developed anyway, so I can't actually feel anything for her. But you got my point. You'll have to get better grades this trimester and next year. I love what this show did. No, bitch. Don't get a better education to be more successful in life. You can stay in your shitty school and play more video games with your friends. They actually just splattered the only character whose morals I agreed with. I genuinely don't remember 90% of these people. You're going down! Ah uh, yes, this fight is to show you that Yuki won, but jesus Kun could have easily won the fight if time didn't run out and he actually tried super duper hard. But if it happens again? Why now? Why is this happening? She seemed fine! What do you mean, why now? She told you she only had like two months to live! And she seemed fine because you were talking to her through a fucking R2-D2 looking Symmetra turret. Her body was still fucked, dumbass. Come on, Yuki. You can't lose. I mean, you're second. The ultimate swordswoman. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. No, this is not only hilarious, but actually insulting. Yeah, Yuki, you can't lose to a terminal illness with zero cures. After all, you're really good at this one video game you played. You could still win. Like, of course, I'm not saying it's wrong for bitch to pray that Yuki will live, but she's using her skill in a video game instead of her personality. That's my whole point. Instead of saying, you're the strong Yuki that survived this long with AIDS, who has survived the medicu- Boyd treatment thing and who has helped progress science at the age of 15. Instead, bitch says that she can win because she played a video game. The lessons and morals of this show are actually abysmal. I know I've said this in the past, but I cannot emphasize it enough. Yuki! <laughs> oh, I've got some stuff to say about this bullshit. First, why the hell is Yuki falling over? The machine won't make her feel pain when in the game, meaning that she would never feel weak in the game like this. She just snap and die when her heart stops. Second, this is Yuki's dying wish? 
They said she had an aunt, right? My aunt wants to either put a convenience store here, or maybe sell it. She clearly has family left, but no. I'm not gonna write a will or a letter to any of my friends. Bitch, before I die, take my 11-hit combo. That's the legacy I want to leave behind. Thirdly, transferring of skills like this is actually incredibly stupid. Especially those that are original skills. Mother's Rosario. Well, there you go. Roll the credits. Have fun. I swear. I'm, I'm crying my eyes out. Just so emotional. My favorite characters are What's-Her-Face and Red Armor, dude. Just such inspirational characters. Oh, thank Jesus Kun. Countless copy and pasted CG elves coming to celebrate the death of Yuki. For some fucking reason. First of all, when did she tell everyone? And second of all, how did she know she was gonna die at that particular moment? I mean, the doctor said that her case got worse, but it wasn't confirmed that she was gonna die then. What if she had, like, another day or something? Then everyone would just be there and they'd be like, Oh, fuck, I guess we'll be back tomorrow. Dang, this guy's on his cell phone during a funeral? Even if I couldn't care less about Yuki's death, that's just plain rude, dude. Flower petal flying away in the wind to symbolize death cliche or something along those fucking lines. Gave anything to anyone. You gave me something. Yeah, it was an 11 hit combo. Is that you, Siyune? Yes, in the flesh. Raise your hand if you actually knew this bitch's name. If you're raising your hand, you are 100% lying right now and I don't believe you, and you should be ashamed. And then a week ago, the day after Yuki died. Unless that's a wig, I call complete bullshit on your hair growing back in one goddamn week. Jesus couldn't doesn't wear black on the one day where it'd be okay for him to wear black. He's trying to steal my ideas about that communications pod I made. Jesus couldn't made that thing. Nope, I'm done. Send me back to the 90s when anime wasn't popular here. I want to go home. Wh what's wrong, Kirito? I know her. Of fucking course you do. Our lord and savior knows all. Just end the show already, please. The Medicuboid's design. You know who invented it? No way. It was Kayaba. Why in the fuck is this show trying to paint Kayaba like a saint? He murdered 4,000 people for literally no purpose. But hey, he created a gigantic machine to help people not experience pain when playing video games. I got you a little gift. I hope it's a gun. Are you having fun hanging out here with everyone? Bitch says as they are off 30 feet away talking amongst themselves. Yeah, Kirito, thank you. Bitch is still calling him Kirito, even though our lord and savior has specifically declared to not be addressed by that name. Nah, if you want to thank someone, thank Yuki for helping me develop it. What do you mean? She just tested it. She didn't help develop it at all. And just like the story of Moses and top Mount Sinai, Asla too received a message from God. And that message was... The more the lines between these worlds blur, the more everyone gets sucked into its darkness. Can you be any more pretentious? Like, is it actually possible? I genuinely want to know. Even after everything that's happened, my curiosity's got me hooked. I guess you could say it's your... curiosity. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. Oh my god, it's over. The black screen is the best thing I've seen all series. Send help. Also adding a sin, because Ordinal Scale is coming out. Fuck you, just let me live my life. Sword Art Online. AIDS for short.